it's very important to understand this. Uh, there's a lot of bad information out there. And if people don't know how to read the biological pathways of how things work in the body, but instead read someone's opinion, then they're in danger of getting it wrong. So phytoestrogens are one of the most misunderstood thing I've seen in um, people who talk about nutrition. And it's because they're not looking at the biological pathway, or if they do look at it, they don't understand it. Phytoestrogens are uh, estrogen-like compounds. They're not estrogen. They're estrogen-like in the way they are formed. And what they do is they weakly bind the estrogen receptor, which then blocks estrogen from binding. So the net effect of eating phytoestrogens is it reduces your exposure to estrogen. It does not increase your exposure to estrogen. A lot of people out there giving nutrition advice are getting this wrong. They think, oh, phytoestrogen sounds like estrogen, binds estrogen receptor, it's estrogen. It is not. And that is why when they have looked at studies where in rural China, for example, where people eat a lot of tofu, they don't have breast cancer rates, right? They now. People like T. Con Campbell attribute that also to the fact that they don't eat dairy, which dramatically raises, raises our, our risk of cancers like breast cancer. But, and it also, you know, it has hormones in it, right? It has estrogen in it. So phytoestrogens in themselves are actually protective against cancers and they do not work as estrogens, but they actually reduce your exposure to estrogen, okay? So that is why tofu is perfectly healthy. It's why flax seeds are perfectly healthy. They are phytoestrogens not estrogens, okay? I hope that really helps. <laughs>